William Charles Wentworth was born in 1790. One unusual thing about his birth was that he was born on a ship called the Surprise. The other thing was that his parents weren't married. His dad was a well-to-do Irishman and his mother was a convict. This was considered an unusual combination for these times. William was only 10 years old when his mother died. Not long after this event, he and his brother were sent to England to attend school for the first time. After his primary and high school life, he went to Cambridge University and studied law. William returned to Australia in 1810. In 1813, along with Blacksland and Lawson, Wentworth's adventurous spirit saw them take part in the first big inland exploration, which was the crossing of the Blue Mountains. This opened up great pastoral lands. Now in the Blue Mountains, there is a town called Wentworth Falls which is named in honour of his role in the exploration of the area. After his exploration of the Blue Mountains, Wentworth returned to England to travel and study. In 1819, William published the first book written by an Australian author called A Statistical Historical and Political Description of the Colony of New South Wales and its Dependent Settlements in Van Diemen's Land with a particular enumeration of advantages which these colonies offer for emigration and superiority, in many respects over those possessed by the United States of America. Then he published his own poem called Australasia. Wentworth was all about freedom. He was the head of the Emancipist Party. This political party was all about equal rights for ex-convicts and their families. He also wanted transportation to stop. This meant no more convicts coming to Australia. He was also very passionate about freedom of press and trial by jury. This showed that he was into honesty and fair treatment. The life of William Charles Wentworth showed that the son of an Irish convict woman could rise to great things in Australia through education, exploration, a passion for politics and the rights of convicts. William Charles Wentworth made a great impact the shaping of the state of New South Wales.